Yeah, yeah, welcome to Unified Media Dropping Gems Podcast. Let's get it. Unified Media Dropping Gems Podcast, Season 3, Episode 3 revolves around the topic the importance excuse me the importance of entrepreneurship due to the development of ai will weigh in on the pros and cons of artificial intelligence and entrepreneurship like and share this video to those who will find this information useful tune into the show once a week every sunday 8 p.m eastern time live on youtube where we have raw uncut open discussions that can range with insightful and educational information across the board Other episodes will include past and current events, trending topics, conspiracies, personal journey, and so much more. We also invite special guests to shed light on who they are and what professional industry they are in. If you would like to be a guest on the show, email droppinggemspodcasting at gmail.com with your name, business, industry, social media info, and brief bio. Hosted by yours truly, JL The Truth and Aki ONTL Dewan, excuse me. Support the show by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. Yeah, man. Sorry, man. I don't know what happened. Man, my computer just said, Beow. "Oh, it went down. It went down, Aki." Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it, it ain't seen me in a long time. You know, what I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's all bad. right. While, while we work out the, the the tweaks behind the scenes, and and you get back, if you're able to get back to it, we'll 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 switch the uh, we'll switch the screen for you. But um, but while I have you here, Aki, uh, you're back in your you're back in your element. You're sitting up. Yeah. And um, how does that how does that feel? How does that progress feel now going from laying back, see, you know, getting getting that situated and now being able to sit up and seeing the progress come along? Man, it's it's actually I'm happy. You know, what I'm saying I feel I, I feel more like, all right, I'm, you know, I'm working through it, getting through it. Yeah. It's just, you know, I'm getting back to me almost there. Still Definitely. still like, you know, like, damn, but. I feel good, you know. I feel good. I feel good about being uh being able to sit up for a little bit longer now. I can take car rides a little bit better. I'm about to have yeah. me a handicap placard, so you know. Okay. Uh, so that means everywhere you go, you get to you get to park from. Man, I got to. Man, I got to. Five minutes in and out of the store, we good. <laughs> I got to, man. You, you know got the I mean? VIP front access to Home Depot, Walmart. Everything. Oh, it don't matter. Front row. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 I make room for me. Look, I was driving in little carts at Costco. You know what I'm saying? Around, oh, man, you know, motor cars, man. You know what I mean? Motor I got to. Too good. Too I, good. Man, Crazy. I got to take advantage right now, my. You know, I right, can't do right. everything that I used to do, but I, I, I can. I'll be able to do some stuff. I still, like, I'm able to do certain things now. Um, but yeah, the progress is good, man. I got about what probably like six more weeks, maybe not even six, probably like five more weeks before it's kind of like really, really healed and really there. And then uh, I'll be doing physical therapy, physical therapy. Yeah. Physical I'm, therapy. Being, I'm preparing for that one. Cause that's a, that's a different type of, that's a different type of therapy right there, man. To Definitely. get to used to walking again, putting weight on yeah. my foot again, you know, that's, that's a different type of mentality. Strengthening out, the, strengthen out, re-strengthening out the muscle, yep. gaining, gaining the mass so it evens out again. Yep. I, man, that's, that's, that's a different all over. mentality you have to have, man. And, and unfortunately, artificial intelligence can't help me with that as much. No, artificial <laughs> intelligence is not going to help you with that. That's going to be your intelligence, your mind, and your spirit alone. I right, say, right. Definitely, unless, 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 you know, unless this was iRobot, and we're not going to, I'm not going to ever wish this on anybody, mm-hmm. including my God, but. You know, the only way artificial intelligence would have been in play there is if you would have had no leg and they would have had to, you know what I mean? Hit you with the robotic and then you would have been walking around as our robot with, with a robotic aesthetic leg. You know what I'm saying? That's when it would have been something else. And even at that point, I think that still would have been your mind over the matter. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, like that. I, one thing about it. You know, what I mean, and we're speaking to this because this is the show we're talking about. One thing about it, I don't knock artificial intelligence, prosthetic legs, and those things like that. Because yeah. hey, if it's gonna allow me to continue having a quality of life that right. I'm kind of used to, just a with a different type of uh, flow 
then you know I, I'm not against that, and 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 I, I appreciate those and people who have already initiated and done what they've done to the space and to our opportunity of having those things because Absolutely. you know it it helps it it definitely helps and it's because it's change is hard one everybody knows change is hard when you changing it's 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 a hard thing to come by but mm -hmm. and when you have assistance and you got a quality of a of an assistance you know I mean it 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 helps it helps a lot because. Like I said, you can get back to kind of being you. You can feel more you. You can, you know, the mental the mental stress it puts on you kind of alleviates a little bit. So therefore, it's uh, you, you know, you're doing a little bit better with mentally dealing with the fact that hey, I have a different change now. When it's fully right. healed, my doctor did say that I might have I might not be able to walk the same way I walked before, which is more of a glide and a, you know like a smooth walk. So I might That's have right. to, I might have to, you know, build up to get back to that walk again. It might be slightly different. Who knows? But, um, yeah, no, nah, man, I, I, you know, if, if I had to do artificial intelligence, if I had to have a prosthetic leg or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? I would have treated it just like as if it wasn't, if it was my real one. It was, man. It was real leg and just get to it. Absolutely. 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 I want to thank Riri and uh, 65 Rose Athletics for being here. I definitely want to uh, make want you guys to make a note that you're going to definitely want to grab a piece of paper, a notebook, anything that you write notes in, because we, we will be um, talking about particular artificial intelligence applications that can be, you know, that can be useful and apply to a any business, mm -hmm. um, whether it's, a, you know, whether you're, you know, trying to run a online business or even apply yourself by opening up a brick and mortar. Um, these particular tools are going to be very uh, beneficial to alleviating, you know, pressure, um, receiving assistance and um, helping with time management, because I think that's going to be huge when it comes to one of the pros of artificial intelligence. Now, yes, the first sir. thing I want to do um, is I'm going to get into this particular article that I found just to give people an insight of you know, the detail of artificial, artificial intelligence. Um, and it says here, uh, from a bird's eye view, AI provides a computer program, the ability to think and learn on its own. It's a simulation of human intelligence into machines to do things that we would normally rely on with humans. This technological marvel extends beyond mere automation, incorporating a broad spectrum of AI skills, abilities that enable machines to understand reason, learn and interact in a human like matter. Now the, there are three main types of AI based on its capabilities. There's weak AI, strong AI, and super AI. I'm going to play this quick four minute video just so we can um, kind of see how artificial intelligence is being utilized by major companies across the board and in different industries. And then we're going to look at some key pr uh, advantages of artificial intelligence, some um, disadvantages of artificial intelligence, and then mm -hmm. me and I are going to reflect on those things and how we're utilizing them right now at this very moment. So check out this quick four minute video with me and let me know how you guys feel in the chat as well. Check this out. It's a weekend and John decided to watch the latest movie recommended by Netflix at his friend's place. Before heading out, he asked Siri about the weather and realized it would rain. So he decided to take his Tesla for the long journey and switch to autopilot on the highway. After coming home from the eventful day, he started wondering how technology has made his life easy. He did some research on the internet and found out that Netflix, Siri, and Tesla are all using AI. So what is AI? AI, or artificial intelligence, is nothing but making computers-based machines think and act like humans. Artificial intelligence is not a new term. John McCarthy, a computer scientist, coined the term artificial intelligence back in 1956, but it took time to evolve as it demanded heavy computing power. Artificial intelligence is not confined to just movie recommendations and virtual assistants. Broadly classifying, there are three types of AI. Artificial narrow intelligence, also called weak AI, is the stage where machines can perform a specific task. Netflix, Siri, chatbots, facial recommendation systems are all examples of artificial narrow intelligence. 
Next up, we have artificial general intelligence, referred to as an intelligent agent's capacity to comprehend or pick up any intellectual skill that a human can. We are halfway into successfully implementing this space. IBM's Watson Supercomputer and GPT-3 fall under this category. And lastly, artificial superintelligence. It is the stage where machines surpass human intelligence. You might have seen this in movies and imagined how the world would be if machines occupied it. Fascinated by this, John did more research and found out that machine learning, deep learning, and natural language processing are all connected with artificial intelligence. Machine learning, a subset of AI, is the process of automating and enhancing how computers learn from their experiences without human help. Machine learning can be used in email spam detection, medical diagnosis, etc. Deep learning can be considered a subset of machine learning. It is a field that is based on learning and improving on its own by examining computer algorithms. While machine learning uses simpler concepts, deep learning works with artificial neural networks, which are designed to imitate the human brain. This technology can be applied in face recognition, speech recognition, and many more applications. Natural language processing, popularly known as NLP, can be defined as the ability of machines to learn human language and translate it. Chatbots fall under this category. Artificial intelligence is advancing in every crucial field like healthcare, education, robotics, banking, e-commerce, and the list goes on. Like in healthcare, AI is used to identify diseases, helping healthcare service providers and their patients make better treatment and lifestyle decisions. Coming to the education sector, AI is helping teachers automate grading, organizing, and facilitating parent-guardian conversations. In robotics, AI-powered robots employ real-time updates to detect obstructions in their path and instantaneously design their routes. Artificial intelligence provides advanced data analytics that is transforming banking by reducing fraud and enhancing compliance. With this growing demand for AI, more and more industries are looking for AI engineers who can help them develop intelligent systems and offer them lucrative salaries going north of $120,000. The future of AI looks promising with the AI market expected to reach $190 billion by 2025. So on that note, I have a question for you. That was gonna be the, that was gonna be like the little quiz at the end of the video, but, um, Based on that quick that quick segment of artificial intelligence, right, and then I'm going to go ahead and get into these key benefits of artificial intelligence, and then me and Aki are going to kind of, you know, kind of break it down here with you guys in the chat. Um, so the first one is reduction in human error, which makes, you know, a lot of sense. There's zero risks. There's 24 seven availability, mm -hmm. digital assistance, man, that one, <laughs> digital assistance going to be huge, new inventions, unbiased decisions, performing mm -hmm. repetitive jobs, daily applications. Now, this one I want to break down a little bit so people can get uh, an understanding of what this means. They're saying that AI can be placed in risky situations. So by creating an AI robot that can perform perilous tasks on our behalf, we can get beyond many of the dangerous restrictions that humans face. It can be utilized effectively in any type of natural or man-made calamity, whether it be going to Mars, defusing a bomb, or exploring the deepest regions of the oceans, or even mining coal and oil. I think that's a benefit. That, that's that's a huge benefit right there because and if 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 we if you think about it now, the bomb squad has already done that. I've seen a, I've seen situations like that, not in movies, but in real life, where they used uh, a robot in order to go in to defuse a bomb, which is more mm. this is more protective. So therefore, nobody is actually there in case of a an error. It's but an error. because of, because of the artificial intelligence and the understanding of it. The people who program it uh, uh, make sure it's not allowed to have any error like it's stated in the video, you know, less human right. error, which will give it the opportunity to, to defuse something and take take it away. And when it comes down to the diving down in the deeps and the depths of the ocean, you know, what I'm saying a lot of that pressure 
we as humans, our bones can things can be crushed like that. Our oxygen Absolutely. can be tapped, uh, uh, can be uh, tampered with and those things like that. So having having these different technologies to be able to replace that, which causes us to not necessarily have to be at risk for some of these type of things. I, I believe that's a big benefit, and especially when it's done in the in the most uh, safest manner, but also done in the, in the, in the concept of, you know, that's, that's good for us as humans, you know what I mean? Because like I said, yes. you don't want to be put in those situations. I know I don't want to have to be uh, a person that's, that has to be sweating bullets because I'm trying to defuse a bomb and I only got 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like that's kind of crazy. hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm going to go back up real quick to digital assistance because I, I heard that, you know, when I said digital assistance, it, it caught your attention. It says here, some of the most technological advanced companies engage with users using digital assistance, which eliminates the need for human personnel. Many websites utilize digital assistance to deliver user requested content. We can discuss our search with them in conversation. Chatbots are built in a way that makes it difficult to tell whether we are conversing with a human or chatbot. So for example, we all know that businesses have a customer service crew that must address the doubts and concerns of customers, patrons. Businesses can now create a chat bot or a voice bot that can answer all of those clients' questions using AI now. Um, I mean, they they have it. You, you know, if you ever online searching and they have the little chat support that come up mm -hmm. like with mm -hmm. credit, credit karma has it. So you can't ask it a, a necessary question that you may have in a word right. that you may have. But right. it has specific generated questions that are already in place to where whatever fits closest to what you think, you know, what I'm saying or whatever issue you're having, you can click on it and it'll answer that question to the best of its ability. It's almost like they wouldn't even have that those frequently asked questions that they have the FAQs. So it, it, it's 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 definitely put into place as an assistant. So, you know, although it could be you know, someone else could be a human could be doing those things. But if you think about it like that, some people don't know how to ask the right question or ask it, ask a question in the right way. So, you know, right. having those pre-generated questions and having them, uh, having the ability to kind of click on which one is closest to what you're trying to ask helps. So therefore you can get directed to the answer because last week, man, I was calling I was calling uh, AT and T, man, and I don't mean to put them on blast like this, but I have to, um, because it, it made me upset that I was dealing with a human, and I asked to, I'm asking for a specific service, and this human just kept giving me what they wanted to give me instead of answering my question and giving right. me what I needed, and it took right. me about. 30 minutes before I got to the right department to get what I needed done. And then when I got to the right department on the simplest thing that I was asking for was done within 10 minutes. And it made me so mad because as a person who's worked in customer service, answering questions over the phone or, you know, routing people to the right department, you know, I, I always felt in my spirit, I don't need to waste anybody's time, especially if they've been waiting on the phone already for the past 10 to 15 minutes, excuse me, listening to elevator music. I, why, mm. why do I want to continue to play, you know what I'm saying, ring around the rosy with you? I don't, I don't need to do that. And right. it, it just made me realize that, you know, I would have done better with an automatic uh, automated person or automated service. So therefore I would, uh, I would have got to the right department already because I was asking, oh, for automatically. I was asking for something so simple. And this person just wanted to keep continue to give me and feed me promotions. And then after I've already mm. said, Hey, I don't want any of those promotions. I just want to do X, Y, and Z. That person said, I understand that, but this is this, this, yeah, they kept giving me now and I'm, I'm getting upset because it was just like, knowing that he's right there looking at, look, looking at his little pet, look at his little pamphlet, right. Going off the script, reading the script, the reading the script. Reading so script. You mean, you mean get this promotion. Me. Let's go on to the next promotion down the line. Right, right. And it made me it made me upset in the man in a matter of like not really angry, but just more upset and just uh annoyed because I'm asking for something so simple and you're trying to feed me something and I don't want that. And and you're telling me, well, this is part of this is part of the process of calling in. This is your account qualifies for okay. I understand what my account qualifies for, however. 
I don't want any of those things. Are you not listening to me decline these things? Like, why can't I just have you do what I'm asking for? All just to get, you know, saying just to find out that you weren't you weren't the right person to speak with and you had to transfer me. Like it made me so upset that I had to go through that. I spent damn near 30 minutes going back and forth with this. You person. might, you might, you might be able to now create a solution to a problem. One, um, being able to get, you know, creating a computer, uh, computer generated AI customer service bot that's going to uh, be direct with what you're looking for. So the minute you get on the phone with AT and T, had they had something like that, that you you could have just been like, listen, this is what I'm looking for, and um, can you send me directly to this particular department? It could have been, you know, five minutes. They would have grabbed that and been like, okay, I know exactly where to send you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Or even better, even better, I could have went like on, on going online. They could even have a section where you have now all I'm asking for is to add a line to my service or add a change a number over to my service. How do I do this? You can go e- three easy steps. One, confirm the account. This is your account. Right. Put the number right. in if you want transfer and boom, click a button that says transferring and it'll say, all right, the transfer will be done in about 24 hours. Be on the uh, lookout for an email, a generated notif- email, a notification a, for a, a email, notification text message, email. whatever. You know what I mean? Like right. it, it's, it's and this is And this is what's going to be the price when you update that additional line, when you add that, that additional line. That's oh. all I was looking for. I- that's all we I was looking for. We're going to we're gonna have, to, we're gonna have to get them AI developers. And man, work on because something. That, because the, the, the intelligence of the of the human of the, the human just, that was there. They just want they just want to provide promotion. That was they it. Just want to provide promotion. And and I get that because, like I said, I used to work for a company where whenever you provide a promotion or to or give these extra incentives for this person, you, you, you get your percentage of it. And that's your commission. Right. You get your extra pay on top of what you get. I understood that. I even explained that. Hey, look, I understand that you 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 have promotions that you're trying to give me, and this is mm-hmm. helping you out and things. But I'm declining that. I don't want I don't want right. those things. So this unfortunately, I mean. this is this is not you're you're not getting commission off of me, and I'm sorry that that made you mad but this is what it is you know what i mean like it, it was just one of those things man this thing, you know those frustrating things right there is why ai could be be come in people. and be beneficial and be yes used. yes absolutely now 65 rose athletics um says here that things can be good but it all depends on how they're being programmed but of course we're already seeing the bad like yes. fake photos i guess oh. he's talking about like the fake photos, the the AI voiceovers, things like that. Those are scary. Um, that is very scary. And it's very scary because now you you can't you can't make the you can't figure out what's real and what's not. You know what I mean? And there's gonna be more fake out there now, more oh. misinformation. Oh man, and the way way the things That's are going it. now, it, it is becoming so digitized that our eyes and our ears are getting used to the sonics of the digital world so much that it is going to be very hard to determine what is real and what is not. You know what I mean? They, 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 you know, just even just because we're on a subject and a topic, man, I don't really shine too much light on it, but you know, the, the whole thing in the hip hop uh, arena right now, when it comes down right. to their, their, their sparring beef or their sparring competitiveness, when it, uh, on the music, some people thought it was generated AI responses coming through from some of these artists. And it's hard to tell because yeah. some of these artists is, have already been their, their likeness yeah, has generated. already been. Mm-hmm. has already created, been AI generated yeah. and created and used so it made it very difficult but you know that's the that's one of the downfalls and the bad things that AI can potentially have when someone is not really really up here in a good space when you're in a negative space and it like they, the saying goes back in the day you know what I'm saying this this thing can fall into the wrong hands then mm-hmm. that's what happens with AI. If it falls into the wrong hands of somebody not, you know, really conscious or not even not conscious, but not really in a good space and they want to do something dangerous, it could potentially, you know, harm some people and take people's lives because, you know, it, it, imagine be imagine your your likeness and your figure and your image 
being put somewhere where it wasn't and video was like the main thing that you know they would use in order to confirm something well now it's going to be hard to prove your innocence with the video because you can easily be placed in something and generated in there and it and it's like hey but that wasn't i wasn't there and you know it's going to be hard to say yes you was or no you wasn't mm. you know what i mean so good 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 outtake on that 65 rose definitely definitely thank you for snoopy being here i want to i want to go back real quick to the reduction in human error it says here one of the biggest benefits of artificial intelligence is that it can significantly reduce errors and increase accuracy and precision the decisions taken by ai in every step is decided by information previously gathered and a certain set of algorithms when programmed properly these errors can be reduced to no. Now, an example of the reduction in human error through AI is the use of robotic surgery systems, which can perform complex procedures with precision and accuracy, reducing the risk of human error and improving patient safety in the healthcare system. Uh, that is big. That, that I know. I've seen. They imagine have a show. Brain, imagine somebody having brain surgery. And, right. you know, right. or heart surgery, open heart surgery. And now you got these procedures and these robotic AIs that can do it with precision and that there's a possibility that there will be more success now with brain surgeries and heart surgeries coming through and people surviving those things. Right. They actually have a television show on Netflix called The Resident. And in there, they speak. There's a, a person who's in charge of it. It's a black woman, too. You know what I'm saying? That that is in charge of operating the hands and things like that when it comes down to the AI and being able to utilize the tools necessary to perform certain surgeries when it comes down to the prostate, the brain, the uh, the pelvis, the, the, the pancreas, excuse me, um, you know, the heart and everything like that, where less error, you, you can't mess up because it's already calculated. It understands what it needs to do. All you're doing is, is, being more of a guide just to make sure it stays in the lines but even then the advanced technology that is coming you won't even need to somebody all they need all they need to do is place and put things where they need to go inside of the operating room and the machine will go ahead and do the cutting to the precise depth of, that it needs you know that they, they'll be doing the exact way the, the stitching it back up the correcting it they're doing whatever it needed in order to perform the surgery and making it less less error for uh you know what i'm saying for a human who may get shaky one day or who may be thinking about something who may come in and not be fully uh involved mentally in the procedure and what's going on because they have some somebody tried to cut them off the road right when they came in to you know saying to work that day and that's playing a role on their on their conscious now you have something that has no ability to even be feared or have no ability to even be in that position to think of that manner is directly doing a specific task and duty and it's going to stick to the the prescribed mathematical um equation that it needs where it's going this deep this long this surgery is going to take this time and and, and you know everything is going to be done so that's that's huge and not like i said like i was speaking to you behind the scenes like when it comes down to when i me me having surgery the doctor i had was very you know the surgeon i had was very very trustworthy because he was very knowledgeable and and that was what he studied but um, mm -hmm. any, any slip up from him man and i could have lost my leg I, I wouldn't have had a leg anymore you know what I mean? And again, I wouldn't mind having a prosthetic because it would have still kept me uh, trying to live the lifestyle that I live. And uh, it just would a slight different change. But the, the, the fact of the matter is, you know, the more precise, the more on point, you know, the less errors to cause, the more success it can. And to, more, to, the, to the point where, you know, somebody can get back to doing what they're, you know, they're used to doing, you know. Definitely. Definitely. Love that breakdown, Aki. This Thanks. next, this next pro. This is uh, we're, we're going into the twenty four seven availability, and I thought this was was. <laughs> there are many studies that show humans are only productive about three to four hours a day. That's that flow. <laughs> humans that flow. also, but if you're talking about twenty four hours out of the day, Aki, and we're only productive three to four hours in a day. Humans need breaks and time off to balance their work life and personal life. But AI can work endlessly without breaks. They think much faster than humans and perform multiple tasks at a time with accurate results. 
They can even handle tedious, repetitive jobs easily with the help of AI algorithms. For example, you have an online customer support, like we said, chat box, which can provide instant assistance to customers anytime, anywhere using AI and natural language processing. Chatbots can answer common questions, resolve issues, escalate complex problems to human agents, ensuring seamless customer service around the clock. Something that we wouldn't normally be able to do because we need breaks. We need right. time off. We need rest. Right. Now, 24 uh, availability. Now, I like what, Snoop, what, what Snoopy says. She said that uh, the downside is less jobs for people. And that is correct because the more human AI, the more uh, AI we have, the less ability for humans to operate and, and, and do what they need to do. However, the benefit of it is, like you said, 24 hour service. Imagine just still being able to get on demand, efficient answers or questions or uh, uh, answers to your questions or, you know, uh, being able to be assisted in the manner of whatever time, whatever time you want, whatever time is happening, something that can happen in real time, you can get real answers really quickly right there and know what to do. You know, that is a big, that is a great benefit. And it definitely helps, especially for business people who own businesses, because they have something that you need. Now, uh, although I agree with, you know, less people having jobs, the the reality of that, and just in my opinion, the reality of it is, is imagine that, that I, I, I have my home, I have my, 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 I'm able to provide my own food, provide my own things, you know, water and things like that, living naturally. But I want, I, I like the, the, the use of technology and things of that nature. I don't have to do too much reading into certain things. I can have in question answered that maybe I it would take me five books to find the find out the answer I can have it done within two minutes you know what I mean there is it is very you know valley peak and up and down with it but it it all depends on the purpose and the persons or the people who who look at it from that perspective I don't I don't believe we fully everybody fully needs to be burnt out on jobs because like you said, it's hard for us as humans to balance a job, our work life and our, 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 our personal life. You know, what I'm seeing we only are able to stay focused in a matter of three to four hours to be fully delved into something with that flow. So imagine having not being able to utilize all of that and you can utilize it somewhere else in need. You know, what I mean, be, and being that's, exactly, that's exactly what it says here, Aki. Um, it says here in Japan. Uh, right now, robots are being frequently utilized to replace human resources in manufacturing businesses, right? And in more technology advanced nations like Japan, but that, that is not always the case. It also creates additional opportunities for humans to work while also replacing humans in order to increase efficiency. So yes. there goes that, there goes that, you know what I mean? Like, even though people are losing occupations in some areas within the manufacturing business, they're also being applied elsewhere within the manufacturing business to increase efficiency. Because so, humans still have to manage, humans still have to manage those systems. Yes. They have yes. to be overseen and watched. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? It's yes. not going to be a robot watching a robot. <laughs> <laughs> that can't happen because can't there, happen. because there's you think about it if you have something that is that you have this artificial intelligence it's not necessarily intelligent because of the fact that it still needs to be programmed something has to tell it what to do some it has to be functioning in order for it to learn how to function so it, you know what i'm saying it, it 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 does it does have a downside to it when it comes to that and i do agree snoopy yes people are a little bit more lazier they don't want to learn things which is which which i agree too because you should be able to learn but what i'm saying is there's different things that there's different resources that you may need to be able to grab an answer quickly somebody who is 65 years old may have a more benefit of using ai technology to find an answer because they can't fully recall it in their mind right away as somebody who is 20 years old who has read and done these things and still has the brain functionality of being able to recall something to their mind just that fast so there's yeah. where it's it's up and down it just depends on the the space the 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 what it is the programming that you know needs to 
that needs to be done and things like that. So, it, you know, uh, I, I love that. I feel like I always felt like a artificial intelligence has always is always just been a tool, just like uh, this computer is a tool for us to be able to do this, uh, you know, do this podcasting yes. when, when, because we're not in the same state, but we have the same ideas and same intellect and want to, you know, go in the same direction. Right. And because we are not in the same space at the same time. Here it is. We have the ability to do things in the same manner. You know what I'm saying? To do it. Now, if we come together in, in real life and then doing the same thing, we, you know, it would be, it'll just, it'll be just the same, but a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, personal. personal, but more, it'll be more uh, emotionally intelligence because now yeah. the emotion is a little bit different now when you are, you have human to human interaction and things of that yeah. nature. You know what I mean? So it, it it's 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 really all about your way of finding the proper use for it. You know what I'm saying? Right. This and and that's with everything. Like I said, before we had AI, we there was there was times where you know people losing lig ligaments and limbs and things of those nature, and they weren't able to live the same life that they had, and that that put a mental toll on people because it was hard for right. you to deal with change. Lack of purpose, lack of purpose and lack so much change. Man, yeah. but now that we have some tools that can kind of help you get back to it, it gives just gives you a bigger and better ability to stay more uh, uh, mentally focused on something or mentally, you know, emotionally and mentally ready to take on the new change, just slightly altered a little bit and 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 getting you used to and in and, and the groove of that, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes right. people can't do things and just go cold turkey with it you know some drug right. addicts can't just quit and be like all right i'm done and then that's it they have relapses so you know it, it, it's really it's really a great tool to have this artificial intelligence but to be able to know it, I, I feel like everybody no matter whether you have a job or not everybody should know and have the ability to operate artificial intelligence to their maximum capacity at whatever they're doing you get what right. I mean? You, We all should know how to deal with AI technology because we can utilize it in our manner, which goes to one of the things you were speaking about when it comes down to, you know, benefits of businesses and replacing things like you may you may have an assistant. I may I may not need my family to assist me in certain things or they be because they're creating they're creating their own thing. I can create my own thing with a little bit of assistance. And it goes back to one of my favorite movies, Wakanda, when they had the vibranium. You know what I'm saying? She she utilized technology with the amount of information she already had in her mind from her reading and thinking like that to now inputting this information in the machine and it's being able machine. to and being able to create an, a, a solution and then have it 3D printed to be able to you know right. operate in the real life again. That was that's what I found pretty dope. You know what I mean? And that's how I feel like we as humans should always we all should be able to have some type of. Uh, intellect about artificial intelligence to help us in our situation, no matter what it is. Now, with that being said, those tools to help us on whatever it is, I want you guys to take these notes right now, Snoopy, Riri, and um, 65 Rose Athletics, and as well, Aki, because these are going to be very, very beneficial to what we, what we want to apply now in our businesses, online, brick and mortar, et cetera. So write these AI tools applications down. I'm gonna wait till everybody gets their pen and ready, their, their notepad, um, their phone, whatever it is, grab it. And I'm gonna type it in as well in the chat as we go. So here are some of the ap applications you're gonna wanna check out. For website building, website building, this is building websites. You're gonna wanna check out 10web.io and durable.co. I wrote it down in the chat. I'm writing it down in the comments. That's for website building. For uh for turning long form content, for turning long form content into short form, you know, in matters uh, in a matter of minutes, like what we're doing with the podcast, mm -hmm. you're going to want to download Opus Clip. Opus Clip. That's O P U S C L I P. Now for writing tools, for needing writing tools and content ideas writing tools and content ideas and this this for any business it doesn't matter this this works for any business mm -hmm. you're going to want to check out chat uh excuse me chat chat and i know everybody has heard it chat gbt chat gpt excuse me mm -hmm. and 
get the uh get the upgraded version for chat gpt writer chat gpt writer mm-hmm. i mean for people that just w- want to write certain things maybe want to come up with a script idea or mm-hmm. something like that if you or, or you know what i'm saying you you're, you're trying to formulate a novel a book something that you, could just help you get some ideas some ideas down. yeah, yeah you, don't have to, you, you don't have to utilize and that was the one thing i want to put out it you yeah, don't have to use everything like it doesn't have to replace your ability to think it just also mm-hmm. because we're we're in a space now in life where we have so many tools to use that sometimes mm-hmm. you don't know where to start at and you just just need to grab and get an idea a starting point like me and my brother when it comes down to us writing our raps and doing something sometimes we don't have we don't know the first line it's always the first line that we need in order to really get our bars off you know what i'm saying it's mm-hmm. like we need something that's going soon as we soon as we say it in the first line boom it caught the attention right and so sometimes we we write certain things down and we we throw it at each other and then be like you know what nah that's gonna sound better first you know what i'm saying and then boom now we got the rest that we can write the rest of our verse like we do those things to give each other just a benefit you know i mean of something to say so that's what these that's what the chat gpt writer uh that i feel is is great especially for those people who love writing and having and wanting ideas and and you know they have so many different ideas you don't know where to start you might you might get even newer ideas because your brain now is it gives you something and you take from that just a little right. bit and go grand right. again, spectacular on something bit bigger you know what i mean so that, that's, i love that's that's that sound like a love good that. one and make sure i get that one <laughs> yeah love that one um next is a digital support team for the people mm. who have like online businesses tdo is an ai t-i-d-i-o is an ai powered chat bot it replaces lengthy frequently asked questions to improve human customer support. All right. Mm. Next um, is a document reading. This is called document mm. reading. Now, document reading will grab like a 20 page document and will summarize the text for you and give you key bullets and points, the most important key points out of the document. This is called docu ask. It'll summarize text for you, summarize text for you. All right. Now, imagine, imagine reading a book. Um, you know, on how to become a multimillionaire and this thing grabs the text for you and literally grabs all the key points of what's necessary to become a multimillionaire, like what to invest in, what to look out for, what to research, how to, how to, how to, how to read the market, whatever it is, this book, you know, this particular app will literally break down and give you the summary key points to give you valuable information. So you don't have to read and sit there through the whole entire book and try to find those key points yourself right so. which, which which is good because again it's nothing wrong with reading or or, or, or i i say people should never shy away from reading anything right, never. I, I i just i say if you look at it at this point maybe you have a meeting in the next 15 to 20 minutes and you need to you need key speaking points to talk to yes. boom, there you go boom, yes. boom, boom boom and now you can yes. go in off with all of the information you already have i love what you're saying here because i'm about to give you something <laughs> i can keep going keep because going. you you have now you have some now you have talking points that you can go in and then still utilize your experience like when it came down to when it, this even even this that we're doing right here with this man i i just watched like two videos and and got key points of thinking and thinking of what the advantages and disadvantages of ai technology is without too much trying to involve myself or or put myself in a position where i had to go do a lot of reading you know what i mean like i didn't want to feel like I, I didn't have the time at the moment to do a lot of reading because i have a i have small babies to take care of you get what i mean in the family so i did what what i felt was necessary find key points give me the key points i need in order to see what are what are some advantages and disadvantages of ai technology and then utilizing my already experience that i had now i have talking points and and uh, and uh examples to to give out on what you know how how it is useful how it is not useful you get what i mean those are those are things like that. So go love ahead. That, and continue, Aki. Aki. Um, under under the company Microsoft, you have you have an application called Copilot, C-O-P-I-L-O-T, one word, Copilot. Now, what this does, it analyzes spreadsheets and creates full PowerPoint presentations for you for like those meetings that Aki just mentioned. It also can create a pitch deck. And if used quarterly, you can analyze profitability through each quarter for your company or mm-hmm. under co-pilot 
Now, well, now I, I love I love this because with PowerPoint, you know, it takes a little time to learn a lot of the technologies that we have. Like I'm still not mm -hmm. as good in, in Photoshop as I could be. But because of the way tech AI and technology is, I, I mm -hmm. you know, there's things I can learn and do with with within the quickness because I'm trying to be efficient in what I'm doing. You get what I mean? And mm -hmm. so not being able I remember with PowerPoint, I learned how to do that. in I think I was like in the 12th grade or something like that. And it was it was cool because you could be very creative but you i had to be taught through two semesters on how to kind of use powerpoint and go through mm. the basic steps with this one you know if i need to do a presentation or I, I don't know too much about it or maybe i didn't grow up in the era of technology and i'm still getting used to it now i can kind of get ideas on how to use powerpoint because now i can just go ahead and speak what i want boom 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 oh, and that's it and it'll generate and, and it'll Crazy. generate for me. And then now that'll put me in a time where on my spare time now I can learn how to per properly use PowerPoint and do it myself and create my own small ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, it's always about the per. it's always I put I see it as it's always dependent on the person. And I feel like everybody should still never shy away from what tech what what life was like before te technology and what life is like with technology i feel that they they both go hand in hand depending on the situation correct 100 percent. and you picking off the point of photoshop aki this next one under adobe is called firefly and what it does it can it, it's a content creation tool it can it can um it can create images based on what you feed it it'll give you detailed text like descriptions that are all similar to Photoshop, but it all does it under Firefly for you. So the minute you say, hey, I want, um, you know, I, I, I want I want an artist, you know, I want to I want a depiction of me in outer space, um, you know, flowing through the galaxy. And I want a description added to that just just for the purpose of, of, of just having it right. It'll actually create this image of you. You can send it your photo and it'll create an image of you in the multi galaxy, you know, flying through space or whatever. And then it'll create a, a, a description for you that, you know, is motivational or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, like right. it'll literally do that for you in Firefly and save you plenty of time. And that's yeah, that's for people who are just like super creative and want to save right, time right. From sitting right. in Photoshop and trying to create their own image, depictions, descriptions, etc. But, but here, here, here's where here's where, like I said, I don't, you don't want to shy too far away from uh, from you, you being you, because you have right, to give, right, right. you have 100%. to give it description of what you want to. You still have to give it something. So if yeah. you're not still creative up here and utilizing this, what there's going to be a lack for, of it through is going. There's going to be a lack through it through the artificial intelligence. You're going. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. Yeah. You know what I mean. So that's why I said you. You don't want to shy too far away from not right. funding your mental, but also too you want to be able to still not depend on this all, all day long. You want to be able to utilize it when it's necessary and needed. And that's how I always felt even coming in, because like I said, I, the, the, we, we're born in a time where we didn't have, we were just getting a lot of this technology and, a, you know what I'm saying? The web had just kind of got out and we were at yeah. a stage where, you know, we were, we were the outside getting creative with things, playing different, vi, vi, playing different games, uh, you know, actually utilizing our critical thinking skills like we grew yeah. up in an era where you had to re really be critically thinking about your decision what you do how you do it and things of those natures versus now uh, some people are very thoughtless into the ideas and the things that they do and then they learn the repercussions behind it and then they learn the hard way and it's unfortunately Absolutely. sometimes the hard way you know you may not survive it and so like that's that's why i said i'm always i'm always be an advocate for staying original but learning how to how to operate with a tool it's just like a, a a craftsman you know what i'm saying you 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 can build a house all of the tools that these people need to build houses if the people didn't use those tools that house wouldn't be built mm. you know Talk what i mean definitely definitely now some of the uh disadvantages of artificial intelligence um high cost it says the ability to create a machine that can that can simulate human intelligence is no small feat. It requires plenty of time and resources and a huge deal of money. It all uh, AI also needs to operate on the latest hardware and software to stay updated and meet the latest requirements, making it quite costly. Another oh, yeah. disadvantage 
no creativity. And what they used here as an example is the bot Quill who can write Forbes earning reports. These reports only contain data and facts only provided to the bot. Like you said, the information that you provide the bot is what it's going to spit out. It can't, it can't get creative on its own. So there's a lack of creativity. We already touched based on unemployment. This next uh, uh, disadvantage, it makes humans lazy. AI applications mm. automate the majority of tedious repetitive tasks. Since we do not have to memorize things or solve puzzles to get the job done, we tend to use our brains less and less. This addiction to AI can cause problems for future generations. That was, that's the key word, addiction. If mm. you become addicted, that's why that's why I said what I said, because and I'm glad Snoopy said that in the beginning, because that's that was again, that's always my take on it. You don't want to get addicted and become lazy to the technology and tools that you have with this, because then you you lose your brain. And the, the more you the less you use it, the less you you know, what I'm saying what, what is that saying goes? Uh, you don't lose use it. You lose it. You know, yeah. you don't you, you you start to lose your functionality and creativity in your brain power because you're not utilizing it again. You should always fund your mental. I mean, you should always stick to fundamentals and, and, and read up on things and become more creative in your thought process, which will allow you to become more creative with the AI technology in a more uh, in a more smooth and efficient more time, because at the end of the day, with the fast pace, the things, the way things are going, you want to be efficient in some things, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you, you it can meet deadlines, but you don't want to shy too far away from your ability to, to you, to solve problems, to solve equations, to utilize your critical thinking skills. Because when, with the flip of a switch, AI technology can be uh, turned off, mm. you know, just like your power. When you turn the power off, boom, power goes out or you don't pay your power. You don't pay your light bill. Your lights is off. Now what you going to do? You get right. what I mean? So you still have to be able to utilize this because at the end of the day, it took for this to create the technology for you to use this less at mm. the end of the day. Mm. You know what I mean, that's so you got to keep that in mind. It took brain power to create something for you to use your brain less. So <laughs> that's that's why it's costly technology in order to build these systems of automation. Definitely. And once we get into the uh, intermission, we'll we'll, we'll 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 do a quick video that I want to show everybody. And then we'll get into entrepreneurship, some key points of entrepreneurship, and then combine the two on how both can work. Um, disadvantage is still on um, on AI. There's no ethics. Ethics and morality are important human features that can be difficult to incorporate into an AI. The rapid progress of AI has raised a number of concerns since day one. AI will grow uncontrollably and eventually wipe out humanity. This moment is referred to as the AI singularity. Yeah, because That's crazy. Be, yeah, That's crazy. Be, be, because it's a program, it has no mm. emotions. So morality right. and ethics comes from an, an emotional standpoint Emotion. mm. and logic. You get mm. what I mean? So you can't you can't those human qualities that we possess and carry. Those are the things that makes us who we are and, and gives us the ability to be even more creative because you can think of something to an emotional standpoint or to a logical standpoint versus AI technology. No, if if it, it only knows black and white, yes or no. You get what I mean? So and, and when you when you don't have that ability to be moral or ethical about your what you're creating. It goes back to what I said, you know, this falls into the hands of the wrong person and then it goes all bad, which we have seen again already when it comes down to people's likeness and images being recreated and used in a negative aspect. And it's hard to tell which one was real and which one wasn't. So there goes the morality and ethics part about that. Some people are using it to gain exposure, money and gain whatever whatever it is they're trying to gain with no ethical, logical reasoning behind doing it other than for their purpose of their, you know, a gaining or their ability to move forward. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's that's one of the biggest disadvantages. And I feel like as long as us as humans continue to be moral and ethical, we can, we, it doesn't, the AI technology will never wipe us completely out right. the way it says. But when right. you, when you have people who, who want power because AI technology can give you power, 
then you lose your moral compass and your ethical thinking behind it and it therefore can lead, it, can it can lead to human destruction yes yes definitely love mm -hmm. that Aki. this next this last one it says no improvement humans cannot develop artificial intelligence because it is technology based on preloaded facts and experience ai is proficient at repeatedly carrying out the same tax task but if we want any adjustments or improvements, we must manually alter the codes. AI cannot be accessed and utilized akin to human intelligence, but it can store infinite data. Machines can only complete tasks that have been developed or programmed for. If they are asked to complete anything else, they frequently fail or provide useless results, which can have significant negative effects. Thus, we are unable to make anything conventional. Mm. Mm exactly what we just said my man mm -hmm. it, 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 you, you you can't you can't lose that man and i and i hope that humanity does not lose sight of this i really do hope that this episode gets to reach a lot of people when it comes down to speaking of this if they have not already heard this type of information before because it is very vital to our existence and our ability to continue to coexist and, and habilitate here you know what i'm saying in, in in our realm that we were we were put here for because i i, I definitely can't see that like i speak to my children and tell them these things like hey imagine not having tv like imagine you you not having youtube and not having those things how would you know how to survive how would you know what to do how would you know how to use the the natural sciences that we have already here that was already right. destined here in order to get food to get this to light up this and those things like that like they're showing different ways that magnets can create an electrical electrical charge where you now you have light instead of sent and plugging it into an electrical system now you can use magnets to power up stuff because of the pool that it has you get what i mean like if you don't know these things you don't read about these things you don't understand these things then you will be the person who will suffer if technology was to turn and be you know useless towards us because you your, your brain has become less active in its ability to critically think and ability to recall information like the ai technology stated it can hold and store so much information but it cannot create and take what it's already in there to create something brand new you have the ability to to take that information that you already have take more information and create something new from the information the new information you just got versus what you have already had definitely and now in, in any poem in any moment of time like like it said that you it, it can't handle complex things that a human can you get what Correct. i mean so and 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 that should tell you right then and there that hey this don't be fully dependent on this because it can fail you absolutely 100 percent. and on that note we're going to get into this quick intermission and when we come back we're going to speak now on the importance of entrepreneurship with ai being developed and i'm going to get to eight key points right after this quick segment we got robert kiyosaki the, the 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 author of rich dad poor dad um unloading his his frustration when it comes to dave ramsey now i know my guy uh 65 rolls athletics is a huge dave ramsey fan he you know he sent me a book in regards to dave Ramsey. um i admire both of these entrepreneurs and this is why i wanted to play this particular uh segment of robert speaking about not only dave ramsey but but the importance of investing and investing in this particular thing right here that me and aki spoke about which is gold and silver check this out guys well let me just ask it straight why isn't this taught in schools because surely people should know this stuff because school teachers are marxist my poor dad rich dad poor dad it's a story of a marxist versus a capitalist you know, my poor dad was an academic type. He was a PhD, which to his, his stands were poor, helpless, and desperate. <laughs> he was a smart guy. He was in school all the time. He knew all the answers to everything. Mm. But he didn't know anything about this here. Mm. And my rich dad was a man who had no school, and he ran the family store. So as a boy of 13, he began learning about money. And he, he started saying, says, he says, the mistake is our schools teach us to work for this, not this. Mm. Why does Dave Ramsey say all debt is dumb? Well, because Dave Ramsey is a f idiot. That's why he shit me. 
<laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> part of my French. I mean, he and I, uh, his, it's the, who's your target? You know, when we first got together, I said, who is your demographics, mm. right? You guys are real estate guys. Dave Ramsey is not your teacher. You're their teacher. Does that make sense? Mm. So like I went, I'm a pilot. I didn't ask a basketball player to teach me how to play to, to fly. So when I went to Vietnam, I wanted the best teachers. So if you're going to be in real estate, Dave Ramsey is not your teacher. You are. If you understand that, you choose your teachers. So Ramsey's advice is good for the average person who is trying to save this stuff here. Think about this, okay? I was flying in Vietnam. I bought my first gold coin. I paid $50 for it. So it was 50 of these for one of these. Today is 2,200 for one of these. And what has the dollars gone down by? And mom and daddy are working hard, staying out of debt like freaking idiots. Yeah. But it's best advice for mom and dad. They're the punter. You know, I, I use the term punter. They just they have no idea what's going on. They get, mm. they get, up, they get a pint, they're happy. Mm. So, but if you're going to be a rich man or a poor man, a rich man, your end game is gold. This has been money for centuries. This is silver. It's the better investment today. In the U.S., it takes 35 of these to buy one of these. So I tell my brothers and my sisters and all that, hey, trade this piece of toilet paper in for this. Oh, no. Dave Ramsey said save money. <laughs> <laughs> and my family's broke. But they follow my poor dad. They go, I have a master's degree. What do you have? And a ma master's degree can get someone a hundred thousand in debt, can't it? Bad debt. I'm a billion dollars in debt. You're a billion in debt. Because debt is money. It happened in 1971. President Nixon took this, separated. So what became money was a U.S. bond. Now, Dave Ramsey and most of these financial planners down in the uh, city of London and the uh, they recommend buying bonds. Bonds are the worst advice possible. Why? They're going crashing. Three banks went down in a row because the bonds crashed. So please hear what I'm saying is our financial planners, and what we call them in the States, they're always saying you, you want 40% 40, 40 stocks, 40% bonds, and 10% gold or something like that. They think bonds are safe. But now that interest rates are going like this, see, when interest rates goes up, the bonds come down. So today, the US Federal Reserve President, uh, Chairman Powell, he's raising interest rates. Bonds are coming down. Our banks are crashing. When our banks crash, they can't lend this out. And when they can't lend this out, the economy crashes. So the people who will win are people who have gold and silver. And mommy and daddy who are saving this will be wiped out. Mm. <clears throat> because to save the world economy, as you know, the US, the US is gonna print trillions of these. You have, what was it, was it named Tusk or something? Your, she was your prime minister for a short period of time. Yeah, Liz Truss. Yeah. Mm. When she tried to screw around this, your pensions went down. Mm. So mark my words, the old guys like me in UK, America, and most of Europe, we have no pensions. So did you decide well, to- Well, let's say it again, we have no pensions. No pensions. They're gone. gone. But they don't know it yet. Right. Yeah. It, I it, think like a capitalist, not a Marxist. No. I don't want it to be equal. You kick my ass, I'll kick your ass. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's why I love this game here. Mm. So you, you think, free markets, you know, competition, that's all healthy and good. For certain people. If you're not competitive and you're a wimp and a crybaby, you know, follow Dave Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, quick, before you go, if you want to watch the full raw... Hey, he went hard on Dave. I, mean, I feel I, I kind of felt bad for Dave because he was going now, crazy on him. Now it's all at the end of the day, wealth 
wealth building is all preference. Of you know course, what I'm saying? Course. There's different, there's, there's multiple ways to, to go about it. Um, you know, Dave, Dave definitely has some valuable key points when it comes to wealth building through real estate and, um, what it's like to not be in debt and just having that financial burden released from you. And then what I like about Robert is that Robert is, is, is very keen on providing the investment aspect when it comes to gold and silver, because that's, that's where he's putting most of his wealth into in case of a financial crisis where there's a bubble in the market, things explode, inflation goes up and, you know, there's an economic crisis where, you know, things just get it, it, it you know, the, the, the great depression right now Man. he's 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 okay because now he has gold and silver which can be utilized uh you know for goods and services now the dollar no longer exists if, if that was if that was the case right, right. um so I, I get well i get both key points now for for me what i want to provide before i get into these uh these eight reasons on why it's so important to be an entrepreneur you know for entrepreneurship in today's economy is I want everybody here, um, and I know I've spoken to um, I've spoken to 65 Rose Athletics. I've spoken briefly with Aki about this. Make sure that you open up a Roth IRA. Open up a Roth IRA account. If you don't have one right now, please write it down. Open one up. One of the companies that I utilize have is recommended by Dave, and I use Fidelity. Now, in in my portfolio, now again. You know, let me just, you know, say this. I am not a financial advisor. This is this is just sheer me going and going, doing my own research and just applying what I'm what I'm reading and and and, and what works for me. After I opened up my Roth IRA, I ended up here goes 65. I know he was going to give us some some some. some. <laughs> before I get to yeah, him, before we get to that one, bro, because that, that that's a good one. I got one for yeah, him, though. Yeah, Roth IRA. Open up a Roth IRA now. You're gonna want you're gonna want to invest into the SP 500 right now. I'm utilizing uh, Charles Schwab SP 500 index fund. I'm invested in them. Um, it's a low it's a low cost SP 500 index fund. Um, it was recommended uh, by Warren Buffett to invest in low cost S&P 500 index funds. So I use Charles Schwab under Fidelity. It's the Charles Schwab S&P 500. Um, on top of the Charles Schwab S&P 500, I'm also invested in uh, the total market index fund by uh, Fidelity. Um, uh, it also works like an S&P 500, but um, it, it, uh, it does all, all companies. All companies. I mean, even companies that are that are coming into the forefront that may have some potential down the line. So it's called the Fidelity Total Market Index Fund. Another one that I'm invested in is uh, the uh, Fidelity International Index Fund because um, I like to invest in companies um, internationally as well, in case that it, that there you know something overseas might uh, you know get and get a boom into the market and then you know i could take a, a full advantage of that now these particular index funds that i'm providing um on average uh lifetime they have about a 10 percent increase every year so you know i've always make sure that I'm, I'm paying attention to that as well to make sure that these particular funds have a potential increase every year as well and on average it's about 10 percent uh as a lifetime portfolio um uh, another one that I have, and I, I know uh, 65 is going to give me some slack for this, but uh, I'm invested in gold and silver. I'll pull it up right here uh, under gold and silver. Um, let me pull it up so I can let you guys know the company that I that I'm looking at under Fidelity. Give me one second here. Let me pull it up because uh, I know everybody uses it. It's always best to provide accurate information. So let me. Let me double check in here real quick. Just give me a second. So under gold and silver, I am utilizing a company called. The ticker symbol is IAU, all capitalized IAU. It's called iShares Gold Trust. Um, I have iShares Gold Trust and I have iShares Silver Trust. 
<laughs> 65 says it's all games, no shape. Um, so yeah, so I'm in gold and silver. I'm in the uh, Charles Schwab S and P 500, the Fidelity Total Market, and the Fidelity International. Um, that's my portfolio at the moment, and on on average, each particular uh, each particular fund that I'm invested in has at least a 10 percent increase every year. Does that mean that it's always going to be 10 percent? No, the market always goes up and down. But on average, lifetime portfolio is about 10%. Um, so that's that. So definitely open up a Roth IRA. It's very, very important. Open up a Roth IRA. Yes, uh, it is. Yeah. So on top of that, real estate is also huge. If you can get your hands on, you know, flip, flipping property, investing in property, and, and and getting into that side of things, if you haven't, if if you have enough capital for that, um, enough equity to get into that look into real estate and, and flipping properties and purchasing land um mm -hmm. and that'll there'll be more details when it comes to real estate and land um on other episodes if we have and you know based on some research that i'll do and stuff like that and i can bring you guys some key points when it comes to that uh right now 65 says <laughs> what if gold and silver is no longer mineable or there's another source that people won't be able to get their hands on yeah, that 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 is a considerable thought. That's very considerable thought. Being for me, in my opinion, in that is being the fact that gold and silver are ut utilized in a lot of what we have because it it is a natural resource that has already been here, put inside of the earth. The earth can create it. Um, I, I don't foresee that happening. What I foresee happening in that aspect is somebody owning or having the mining areas where there is some and then controlling that from right. people being able to do so. And, you know, that is that is very uh, thought that is very thought worthy of to think about, you know, what if you can't get to that? In in that case, this information now should be definitely utilized and 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 put to play because you should be definitely trying to get your hands on some right away. You get what I mean? You definitely while while you can before something of that nature can even be uh, ma manifested in, into fruition because you don't want to do that. And me personally, I I've I've always been told this, and I've been told this for a long time too. I just really. Yeah, co copper is another one. Copper is definitely a reset. I mean, it, any type of mineral or metal that you can get your hands on, you know, you definitely want. Gold and silver, though, have been around f even before paper was printed. So the fact that the reason why he spoke to that in that manner is because it 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 it. it he don't see just like I don't see it not being able to be used. And the fact that the matter is the value that they're putting on it in the in the amount of ounces and things of that nature that you can utilize with utilize it for, um, you know, it's a commodity, not just for here in the United States, but anywhere on the earth. If you think about it, gold and silver is in a lot of different countries. You get what I mean? You can take your gold and silver and use it for payment in Germany, France, uh, Europe, uh, Italy, Africa, any any type of those things. If you got sapphire, if you got rubies, if you have uh, the, any type of different minerals that you can that you can get your hands on and different th those things that those are those can be traded and, and put up and put for value based off of the ounces that they, you know, that, that they're utilizing. And like you said, imagine purchasing, uh, uh, um, um, gold 10 years ago when it was only worth maybe a hundred dollars or so, you know, $50 for a gold coin for, for one ounce, $50. And you, and you invested a uh, hundred thousand dollars in, into that gold now is worth over two thousand dollars so your hundred thousand would have already turned into a million two million already mm. you have already been and you'll be having two millions of value worth of gold that you have that you can utilize and you can basically put a claim on you can use it as insurance you can use it as a form of uh a payment to anything that you use what that you want for goods and services you know what i'm saying some people have gold around like my, the gold around my neck 
You get what I mean? Like a lady looked at looked at him was just like, hey, that that, you know, you know, that one, the value on that went up. Right. And I looked at her. I'm like, what are you talking about? She was like, your necklace is like it's worth more. How much? Did you, when did you buy this? And I was like, I bought this like three years ago, like right before the pandemic. And she was just like, yeah, no, that's worth a little bit more now. And I'm like, well, OK, like I I, I I didn't want to give it too much attention, but I knew I already knew in my mind, like, yeah, no, I know. I know that. You know what I mean? Like I I, I understood that then because I bought it and it's, it's only a couple of ounces of, of it myself, you know what I mean? But I have it and I'm glad that I purchased it. I have other sources too, what's called gold backs. They're worth about $4 an, uh, an ounce right now, uh, a piece. And they're just, and they're small little gold backs. They look like dollar bills, but just in all gold. But because Ooh. it has gold in it and it's in small increments, I can utilize it as a form of payment. And if I do the exchange for it, uh, you know, what I'm saying I'll be getting back more, you know, four times the amount that it that whatever it is that I have. You know, what I'm saying so. So, you know, I have gold coins. I have silver coins, too. Silver is like the best thing to buy because silver is more tradable. It's less. It's less. It's it it's gold is very high because of because of its ability and, and what it has. But you think about gold and silver, gold and silver can also be used to because they're metals, they're precious metals. You can use those to form electricity. Mm, you get so it's more it's more useful than just as a form of trade trade if good and serving more exactly it's more it's, it's, just way more, it's way more than that so that's why he didn't speak to it but that's really why he's investing in a lot of those things and because right. you can use it and the same comes with copper copper is 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 a is a mineral that you can use that is actually good for you us melanated people are really carbon we're copper me, copper people you get what i mean right. my body has copper in it copper is is in a conductor for electricity you can use that you get what i mean when you drink you drink i have copper cups now that i drink my water out of because it gives it an electrical charge be it the fact that it's water and it's a conductor so it gives an electrical charge which actually helps my body feel a little bit better and i can feel the difference especially when it's that cold water you get what i mean like you can really feel it. So, you know, those are good things to invest in. And I, I truly wish people would do that more. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm doing my best to continue to keep investing in more. Uh, I, 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 I pretty much give about a 10 percent investment in, in, in gold and silver from from what I get in my income and my earnings. I try to put, invest at least 10 percent of my earnings into that. So therefore, I can continue to build my wealth on that. My dad has done the same. My grandfather has done the same. A lot of my family members are doing the same thing is because, again, market crash the dollar bill is no worth anything market crash now and and i have all of these things and even now when gold and silver becomes the only thing that is worth the value that can be traded the value of it goes up even more so even imagine, more <laughs> so you 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 invest in it now you know what right. i'm saying and that that something something like that happens it's going to go up in value now because it's now become very rare and those who have it will understand like hey i got i got i got say so now i have real ultimate power because i have something that's that i has that has went up in value you know gold my dad predicted or he told me it's is pr predicted to be that gold will go up from being worth two thousand dollars an ounce right now excuse me to going up to about five thousand dollars an ounce within a few years that's a do you know how do you know how much that is bro like five thousand dollars worth an ounce of gold just an ounce and if you, if you have 10 ounces 10 tons you know what i'm saying look at how much how much value that is you know what i mean like that is a lot of value in something that is very important you know what i mean and gold gold is is a is a great it's a great thing to have just for not it not as because of its shiny thing or whatever the case may be, but just because gold is is such a mineable thing. You can have ounces, gram. You can have down to the grams. You can even buy in grams right now. A gram of gold probably cost you probably like eighty to a hundred bucks. You who who don't have eighty to a hundred bucks to really invest in that? You know what I'm saying? You may not. And so within and you, you, you buy in a gram of gold every time you get paid or every time you have any type of income and you're buying them in grams, it's going to eventually add up to a whole, uh, uh, um, what they call it, a ton. And then a kilo, a kilo worth of gold right now is $25,000. Mm, okay. A kilo. 
You know what I mean? So that and that's that's heavy right there. That's heavy. And you take that over to Dubai and over there to these other states that and I mean, other countries that that's what they use. That's what they have every every day, man. You'd be over there just living as lavish as they are. Mm, love those gems, Aki. Love those gems. It's important, man. Appreciate you, King. Mm -hmm. um, the eight key points to entrepreneurship in today's economy. Number one job creation number two innovation number three economic growth number four competitiveness number five wealth creation mm -hmm. number six globalization number seven which hit home for me diversity and inclusion mm -hmm. and number eight resilience now let's go back and let's break down each one really quick Number one, job creation. One of the most important ways in which new firms can reduce unemployment and boost economic growth is through the creation of new jobs. So if you have IA that's coming and cutting into employment and you have entrepreneurs that are coming in creating employment, there goes that. that you know that's competitiveness too, but there's a balance between that. Yeah, I mean, you think right. about it, you, 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 you can use AI to create more business. job and more businesses there's there there because as we advance as a human race man people are not here just to create and create the same thing there's like they say there's nothing new under the sun something has something somebody can create something new but there's a lot of things to be created from things that have already been created, been created. absolutely Absolutely. You know what I mean? So there, so AI can AI can take away those things that have already been created, but you can create on top of those to help with what has already been there. You get what I mean? Definitely. And and that's what we're seeing now in today's world too, in today's society. Definitely. Innovation. Entrepreneurs drive innovation by relentlessly testing the limits of possibility. They have foresight and imagination to create first in product services and technology that have potential to transform entire industries and improve people's lives, which I think AI can be looked at in a sense that I mean, it's it, it, if used properly, it can improve and transform industries. Think, think, in about, our it, lives. think about it like this. We'll go back to the to the the surgery and, and the medical field. In the medical field, imagine the amount the amount of technicians who are uh, who have the ability to utilize and create these different machineries that can help with surgeries that can help cause things. Like they have a black woman, she create she's using laser technology to get rid of cancer cells and tumors inside of bodies. Laser technology that can pinpoint directly where the tumor assist is and then uh, dissolve it and make it grow slowly to the point where you can piss and pee it out. Wow. And it and wow. it has the ability to shrink it inside of your body to the point where it becomes small enough to take. You can have a small incision and boom, take it out. Boom. You know, there's different things of that nature. Imagine imagine being able to be from your home, a surgeon who's out stuck, can't get the flight. The flight is is messed up because of the weather or whatever. But they can put on their and uh, whatever those glasses are that, that they have now. Boom. And now the patient is in the board is in the room and the doctors and stuff is who is there. Oh who's right there that person can do the surgery from their home that's wild Aki. exactly that's the innovation that they're talking about you have the ability to do things of that nature now imagine that man you stuck somewhere they can't get to you fast enough you only have a certain amount of time and here it is now you have this technology this thing applies to your, this thing applies to your consciousness to then be able to utilize the the robotic you know what I mean? Like and control the right then and, and do, and do and it right. While you're controlling the machine from wherever you're at. It's it's doing the entire procedure from you while you're controlling it through 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 your mind. And you're not even you're not even in the same it's state. There. You're in a whole different country at, at, at that point. You get what I mean? Like it just that, like that. You know what is man? Come on, I, come on that's, now. That's, you know what I'm saying? When it's used that way, I'm I I, I get impressed. <laughs> Me too. Me, me too. That's stuff that I, I can, uh, I appreciate those appreciate things. Definitely. Mm -hmm. definitely. This next one is economic growth. Successful business ventures significantly contribute to economic expansion in a number of important ways. Productivity is increased in the first place because of new procedures and technologies that are implemented. 
Second, businesses frequently broaden their markets by penetrating new countries or catering to previously unreached subsets of consumers, ultimately driving up global demand. Thriving businesses are a source of new cash that helps keep the economy growing. There will be a domino effect as this newfound economic activity stimulates adjacent industries and inspires additional risk-taking and innovation. In essence, a healthy entrepreneurial ecosystem is a potent motor for long-term economic growth, which in turn fuels widespread advancement and prosperity. What I take from that, Aki, is everything that I, that we see today that is completely innovative and was once new to us growing up that we were fascinated by. You know what I mean? Anything the iPhone, that we were, the I, FaceTime, FaceTime. Right, right. We you were know, fast, yeah, FaceTime. Right. FaceTime right. was an, a thing that we seen in movies that they had already had a little technology on that we mm -hmm. that gave us the ability to go, whoa, I can talk to somebody face to face like this without us being in the same room and we can still, you know, have a conversation or just like how we're doing with this webcam right now. We're having a discussion. Right. You get what in I mean? In two different states, man. You know, what I mean, like that, that, that right there alone speaks volumes because then we that, you know, before we, 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 we can what that's we could do that. That's crazy. I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm motivated to do. And now we have the opportunity and it's only getting better and better. It'll get to the point where, I mean, they have technology now, like when it comes to the music, where you will be over in your state, I'm over here in my state, we're recording songs at the same fucking time in one app. You know what I'm saying? And we can edit and do everything yeah. together. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we yeah. ain't even in the same studio. Shout out, right. shout out to Jordan Lucas. Shout out to Jordan Lucas because I think he has something like that in his Talia. And 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 that is that yes. is the wow. that is the advancement and productivity of the innovation coming from that. That is what that is speaking to because now look at how more productive we're becoming when getting and tasks done because we're able to do those two different things. Your skill set and my skill set can be utilized together from a different place and, and time. But here it is that we are able to do something and create something even different from that just then in, in your creativity and my creativity. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Man, that's special. That's special. This next one is competitiveness. Competition between business is healthy and beneficial to consumers since it spurs innovation and allows new businesses to enter the market. Entrepreneurs bring new ideas, methods, and innovations to the table whenever they enter existing markets or find innovative new businesses. Because of competition, it establishes companies to increase their efforts to innovate and improve their offerings. Competition for customers while it forces businesses to constantly innovate in order to keep their share of the market. As a result, buyers may take advantage of more options, greater savings, and constantly improving technology to improve their standard of living. Essentially, entrepreneurial rivalry is the engine that keeps markets evolving and gives consumers more agency. Hence, I think Amazon when they say that stuff. Yes, because that's, I mean, come on now. Look, before Amazon was really a good a, a go, we Everybody had fed eBay eBay. <laughs> e eBay was it. eBay was the thing. But Amazon came in. Amazon is replacing. It can replace a lot of things because you can right. not only right. can you shop for food on Amazon, your regular household products, but you can become a person to sell these same products. You can even give your honest. And get, yeah. Affiliate, affiliate marketing, marketing. Affiliate, affiliate, affiliate marketing, marketing. And, and get a cut from it because now you're testing something and based off of your wording, your experience with it, somebody is now prone to buying that one versus somebody else's who may not have given a great experience to them at this, mm. with the same product. Here it is. You yeah. have you have like I, I, I'll say, for example, photography or even the dish detergent. You have so many brands that are make dish detergent and things of that nature. But all of these different detergent brands have different ingredients in them. They have different things that, that they utilize them for. Some people, some people's skin is more sensitive to the other. So you can't, you can't use this product, but you can use this other product. It benefits their life versus the other product that didn't benefit their life. Photography. I'm in the photography field. My photos don't look the same as somebody else's photos, but doesn't mean my photos are not, you know what I'm saying? Are not able to generate me any money because of the simple fact that you know what I'm saying? We're in the same market. Yeah, but you you may take shots. Your shots may be cool. You might like you might like taking, you know, outdoor shots with no 
portraits. I like taking portraits and people who get caught off guard because it catches them in the moment of their activity. And they may go back and look at that like, damn, I was having fun in this moment. This, these, I'm giving you different aspects of your moment. I'm not even capturing you, telling you how to, how to pose and look and stuff. I like capturing you in the moment of you just doing your normal thing. And when you look at that, that shows, that shows the true person you are that shows who you are at the time because you're, you're you're actively in a thoughtless process of just moving through the vibe and i'm capturing that moment for you that's what makes minds so much more beneficial to a person because they want to be mesmerized by their living in the moment versus somebody who may just do good at capturing them setting up hey let me see you pose like this let me see you do this let me see you do that right. you know what i'm saying and putting some people may not know how to pose some people are camera shy well me here it is you may be camera shy but my photos have enticed you enough to the point where now you're not shy behind the camera as long as the camera's you rolling you can you, you, you're comfortable yeah. and you still can be yourself because now you can see like the camera is showing you who you truly are. You know what I mean? Right. Like that, that, right. that is that that is the competitiveness that is always needed, especially in entrepreneurship. And I love that. I, I love that. That's that's a that's a key point in that because it is very true. Competitive competitiveness is always beneficial. Hell, in, in, in my dissertations that I do for my uh for 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 my uh conference calls in my in in in, in my uh culture we we and my me and my siblings my dad grandfather and other other members we get competitive when it comes down to our dissertations on how we're presenting our things to people like our information it's a friendly competition though some people <laughs> Some people like the way like my sister has this soft spoken, smooth voice, but the way she delivers is hard hitting and punchy. You get what I mean? Right. Me, right. I have a more storytelling, more ana animated and analytical way of telling it. But you grab those who understand and like that type of t uh, texture and talk. They they right. prone. They they oh man, he did. But the way he explained it, and, you know, what I'm saying it's everybody has different flavors and different right. ways. Of, of, of the able of of how they like to receive the information. Right. So you right. always want that. And like I said, we we listen to each other's stuff, and we be like, damn, that was that was crazy. Like we get a hype and excited. You get what I mean? but it's all it's like right. no what now watch what i'm gonna do next time now watch what i'm gonna do like oh i, I can't <laughs> wait to go next time because now i'm gonna show you something else. like it's it's friendly competition but it's competing we're competing with each other just for the simple fact of you know what i'm saying i know you can do better i, I want to see you be better right. i want to see you improve right. i want to see you do this and it is now because of that has has inspired others who are who are who don't even like public speaking and talking and being heard to now become being heard and want to do it and get involved and be it it, it 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 truly is man and I, I love that love that i love that this next piece is wealth creation many successful business owners build fat vast fortunes through their endeavors which have ramifications beyond their own pockets first the money encourages for more business creation the reinvestment of profits from established businesses can fuel creation of new business, new ideas, and new employment opportunities. They also enter the investment world as angel investors or venture capitalists, fueling the efforts of other would-be business owners. Additionally, the wealth that entrepreneurs create can encourage consumer spending and investment in other areas. When people spend money frivolously on items or make strategic investments, they put capital into the into the economy and help it thrive. In a nutshell, the success of entrepreneurs is crucial to economic growth because it encourages a virtuous cycle of invention, investment, and the production of wealth and ultimately benefits everyone. Case in point, Aki, the investment into StreamYard. Mm. You invested into getting something that was going to be long term for us to keep giving value, the value that we have as the information that we have for the people. We have the opportunity to, to stay on longer, add as many guests as you possibly can. Right. We, we don't have any hiccups and things like that, or it just becomes better, which then, then turns now somebody else who, who may be involved with us becomes more technological when it comes down to in the software where now this person may create a new streaming service that we can utilize instead of StreamYard. We can have our own services and now that becomes better. You get what I mean? Like that right there is the wealth building right, right there in the economic source. 
be the creation of even more uh uh be becoming even better you know what i mean like now i'm more gen i'm i'm more prone to figuring out how to get our lightings and settings and stuff like that the background stuff like that branding more you know what i'm saying just different different options and things like that and that that is always that is always the best thing about when it comes to entrepreneurship these key points is hitting Aki. i ain't even no, gonna no, lie. <laughs> This one's definitely gonna. This was definitely gonna hit as well. Now, you know, globalization. We could just we could just put into a nutshell of, of, of just it. You know, being gl a, a global. You know, uh, and economic that's what approach. Like, that's world that's because we can use that everywhere yeah. in the world. Yeah, that, we can use that everywhere in the world. But this next key point is what really hits home for me because I'm big on that is diversity and inclusion. Entrepreneurship has the incredible potential to elevate underserved communities by providing a doorway into the commercial world and opening doors to participation in economic life. It helps people from marginalized groups such as women, minorities, and the economically disadvantaged to break down barriers and achieve equality. Entrepreneurs from marginalized communities often fill a void in the market by meeting an unmet need or expanding opportunities for all parties involved. Their stories of overcoming economic and social obstacles through entrepreneurism serve as a great example for others. In addition, as these business owners achieve success, they contribute to economic stability and boost community growth by providing local residents with new employment opportunities. Individual lives are improved. Society as a whole benefits from increased equality and prosperity as a, a result of this empowerment. In essence, entrepreneurs drive positive change by creating an equal access to the rewards of global market. And I'm going to mm. tell you why this is so, why this hit home for me, Aki, is because myself, yourself as a minority, the fact that we can go in and get, uh, uh, get uh, valuable information, apply it in, in real life, right? See the results of it and then be able to utilize this tool right here to give the information to others alike is what fills in that void for me. You know what I mean? And gives me another sense of purpose. Man, another sense of value. Man, you know I what I mean? It just man, changes everything. It does. And I know that speaks to your spirit, Aki, because I know I know what you Look, I got well. chills right now, bro. I, I got the goosebumps <laughs> right now. I got it because yes. I mean, the, 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 we come, you know, we come from at times where in our parents, we have parents who came from a time where we didn't have access to a lot of things that other people had access to. You know what I'm saying? Our way of living wasn't always the best and wasn't always done in the in, in, in a good way. We had to figure some things out. And Correct. now with the way the way the world is and technology is, our, we're being able to be included. Like you, like you said, take mm -hmm. take advantage of the information that's provided, then put in the work ethic behind it and then right. create something else for somebody else now to then become see the value in what we've created to now and therefore add value to themselves and then create something that's going to add value to someone else that's you know what i'm saying we we, we we look we have children now who didn't know who didn't understand who know who was and go, went from utilizing and viewing tiktok to now they're making tiktoks mm. You know, you yourself went from you using social media platforms and just being on it to now obtaining wealth from it. Correct. You get what I mean? Like those those are those are those opportunities, those things about those things that are we have access to now is, is something that, you know, is very beneficial. And when you take advantage of the diversity you have uh, and, and it being diverse now, because I mean, I mean, you know, you can look at it at this point. We we've heard from a person we heard from a person who wasn't black, but still grew up in a poverty stated place and learned how to create wealth out of it. You know what I'm saying? Was a person who wasn't, uh, you know, Hispanic, grew up in a place where they didn't they didn't understand. They didn't even speak the, the same language now can now have the opportunity to to speak this, speak that language and then therefore share it back to those who didn't who couldn't who don't speak it. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it you, their opportunities are endless when it comes down to the ability to, to have diversity, because if you have diversity, everybody can everybody can benefit from it. Everybody, you know, what I mean, and as equality as that's the that's as equally as you can get. And it, we don't have to be equally the same. It's just the fact that we have 
equal opportunity to create something valuable in order for someone else to see the value in it that for then for them to create something valuable within themselves and their system that somebody else will find the same value in and then so on and so forth and it's it, it's a continued cycle you know what i mean absolutely absolutely love that this last key point is resilience a diverse landscape of entrepreneurial ventures plays a pivotal role in enhancing economic resilience by mitigating the risks associated with over over reliance on a handful of large corporations in econ in economies dominated by a few giants a downturn or disruption in one sector can have a catastrophic ripple effect leading to massive job loss and economic instability however when a wide array of entrepreneurial ventures thrive, they collect a form and a robust network of economic contributors. These diverse businesses span various industry sizes, regions, and disperse economic activity and safeguard against concentrated vulnerabilities. In times of economic turbulence, this diversity acts as a buffer to help absorb shocks and maintain a degree of, a degree of stability. Moreover, entrepreneurship fosters innovation Adaptabil uh, adaptability and competition, which are all critical components of, of, of an, a resilient economy. By promoting the creation and growth of multitude of enterprises, a nation becomes better equipped to weather economic challenges, ensuring uh, long-term sustainability and prosperity. In essence, a rich tapestry of uh, entrepreneurial ventures forms the foundation for economic resilience. Entrepreneurship is a driving force behind the progress of the economy, innovation, and societal change. It fuels economic development, creates job opportunities, and helps societies adapt to evolving challenges and opportunities. And in a nutshell, when it comes to that, it just pretty it lets you know that whenever these few giants are in the market and anything ripples, that us entrepreneurs can come in and thrive and create something innovative it gives it it gives the world a balance still to be able to, to still thrive when things seem like they're going down so to speak so because if you're let me put it to you like this in this perspective there are people that feel like nine of a nine to five is is actual security i feel that a nine to five there's a false mis there's, there's, there's a false representation of that because there's any given day that the, the company can go can can go bankrupt. There's any given day that you can get into an argument. Um, you know, HR will be down your throat. They'll end up investigating. They'll end up firing. I, mean, I, 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 I can give you an example of what I'm dealing with right now. I got hurt but, outside. I got hurt outside of work, and mm, I ain't working. Mm, see. Like that's case in point right there. Like I got hurt outside of something now and that ain't what, what now I have to figure out how to still be able to take care of my family and my household. You know what I mean? Without, without going there and getting a, a secured or what they called a, uh, a definite paycheck. You know, yeah, I mean, these, these type of things can happen. And this, right, that's why right. it's not a full security with those things. It's always right. best to have some form of entrepreneurship or some form of business so you you can have. So therefore, it doesn't stop you from being or uh, safety uh, or safety or safety net. Uh, exactly. Aside, that's exactly. Safety net, uh, you know, an, an emergency. investment and in, um, emergency yes. account, investments yeah. accounts, uh, right. different things right. that you're, you know, like you say, you have investment accounts that that yield. Uh, 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 about ten percent on average a year. a year. You know what I'm saying? You can do something happen to you, or somewhere you need to go in there and go grab something. You know, you got you got it. You know what I'm right, saying? It, right. And it's all there on the year. Yeah. So that, I'll put that, it to you like this, Aki. Me being an entrepreneur in the last eight months has te has been a testament of what's needed when you don't have a job. And what I mean by that is like I uh, on this eight months run. I use I sacrificed an emergency fund to 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 seek entrepreneurship. I took a part, I took an emergency fund and I seeked entrepreneurship and I ran it for eight months. Was it hell? Absolutely. Was it difficult? Absolutely. Of course. Does it does it does it does it cause things in my mind to think like I'm I'm crazy for even considering it? Absolutely. Does my wife understand it? No. <laughs> so but she, 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 the, the, the only thing that matters to her is like when, when it's time to pay the expenses, 
I got my half. And somehow as an entrepreneur, I always have my half. And when I and I, what what I want people to get from this um, is like what Aki said is like there's there's no true security because unexpected things can occur in your life. Can be uh, do I expect people to get up and pack their bag and, and say call their boss and say, hey, I quit. I'm going on as a full entrepreneur. No, don't do that. What I want you what I want you to consider is that if you are working a nine to five job, put in about two hours a day on your downtime to work on a side business that you've been trying to produce. Put in the time and effort instead of sitting on Netflix for two hours. Spend two hours on your business instead of spending, um, you know, two hours cycling through TikTok, uh, Instagram, Facebook, spend two hours on your business instead of. You know what I mean? Like apply your time, yeah. effort, apply your time where it needs to be applied to work on your side business. So that way, when it does get to a key point that it's actually producing more than your than your full income or your nine to five, then even at that point, I would say, hey, don't leave yet. Maybe even go part time and test this out, you know, and go part time four hours a day at your job and then apply yourself more on your side business until you feel comfortable enough to say, OK. Now I can go ahead, you know, full force and and go full entrepreneur. And, and, and then here here goes AI now. So with your ability to with your ability to go ahead and step down from spending most of your time away from what you're able to do, now you can figure out other ways of automating the things and tasks that you need for your business with AI technology. So therefore, it can continue to operate and maneuver while you're Correct. away doing your four hours at your other job. It's still Absolutely. generating what it needs to generate for you until you feel fully comfortable enough to have it fully set up and now you, all you're doing is managing and, obs and observing and keeping track of what you already have in place and these things are automatically doing what what you need them to be doing and now you have for, you can foresee those things at a full-time aspect you know what i'm saying because with entrepreneurship the difference really and I, we we spoke to this before in, in the uh, other season of dropping gym is entrepreneurship is a 24 hour business versus you going to have a nine to five business. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, you, you work every hour of the hours that you are presented versus you just working so many hours with, without, you know, without having to, uh, I mean, without, without somebody telling you, Hey, I need you to work these hours. Now you are obligated to have to do certain things and all of those hours could be done. Uh, you know, in, in, in different time spans. So like you said, we we as humans, a lot of a lot of ma the majority and average of us are only able to focus on a task for three to four hours at the most without being burnt out on it. Mm. You get what I mean? So now that you have you have out of 24 hours a day, you you really have focus on you really only have four hours of full focus. So then how do you break down those four out four, four full hours of focus that you can utilize within that 20 hour time span? You know, what I'm saying and how many times can you do a four hour, you know, what I'm saying like a four hour focus until you feel burnt out with everything else or everything else that you got on your table. Exactly. You know, saying that, that that's the that's what entrepreneurship is and, and, and being able to do that. And that's why, uh, you know, with different things like this and 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 me and doing photography, man, I find myself doing a lot more at trying to figure out editing. I want to learn how to edit. I can use A.I. technology to edit all my photos. Same, we're, both, you know we're, both the same <laughs> we're both in the same bag right now. Aki. I'm sitting here. Um, I'm actually on eBay um, about to get a. Uh, I'm about to get a uh, refurbished desktop, right? Nice. And I put all the specs in it. I put uh, I, I put an i7 core processing. I put a um, I put 32 gigs of 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 gig of of uh, RAM. Of you, you RAM. Want them. Thank you. 32 gigs of RAM, and then um, and then it was something else that I had to throw in there as well. But it's it's all the specs that I need for just editing for the editing software. And I was able to, after I put all the specs in and it being refurbished, something that would have cost me anywhere between a thousand to fifteen hundred Aki is going to cost me two hundred and eighty-seven dollars. <laughs> Look at that! So and, you, and 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 then with I, with that, you're mm -hmm. going to be able to make that back tenfold. Tenfold, tenfold. With you know the editing, I mean? you get to learn how to do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I'm gonna download DaVinci Resolve. Um, my 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 son's gonna. 
is going to get me uh he knows how to how to get adobe premiere for free um look so that. look at you know, that man yeah, look at my, that yeah my son is he's he's a gem man he's a gem he, he doesn't even know it yet but he's he's definitely a gem man. he's gonna I get mean, look at, he's your, he's your son you're, you're jr the truth the entrepreneur and man, you know what i mean so he he it's only right that he it's in his dna to, to figure some things out with yeah, what he true. has grown up in yeah and what he yeah. has become accustomed to I'm gonna be learning from him because he's, he's the one. He's the one teach. He's the one teaching me things that I don't even know about. He's like that. I wanna, I wanna build a computer from scratch, and I'm like, let's get all the pieces and let's build it from scratch. You know what there I mean? You, I'll go. Like you. you know there what I mean? So definitely a special kid. Definitely a special kid. Hey man, that's that's the that's the purpose of the of the children, anyway, is to for you to watch what they what they're able to and, and you know get into, and then you figure out how you guys can help help and learn from each other you get what i mean there was a video i seen of krs1 who said uh when it comes down to people then the older generations they can learn from the newer generations just as well as the newer generations learning from the older generation because what 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 we're able to be what we're the information we have can make you more efficient with what you have right now but the information you have can put us in the running for what we have right now and today you get what he's I mean? the one that he's the one that inspired me to to push the 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 envelope, so to speak. He got he monetized his YouTube channel before I did. See, and it pushed me to monetize to get mines done. You know what I mean? So like, I put aside that he's my son, and I put aside that he's younger than me because I don't you know I don't process things from ego. You know I don't right. process things like my son. You know I got to be smarter than my son. No, I want my son to be you know far beyond anything capable of what I am during my lifetime. I want him to stretch as far as he can stretch and be and utilize his intelligence way beyond me. So if he as can he teach should. me something, if he can teach me something in a moment that, that can benefit both of us, then that's what I'm going to do. And the same thing in turn, like he, he's, he doesn't know nothing about investing, but I'm teaching him and I'm teaching him how to be debt, you know, how to, how to stay debt free. And, and how do you and, and how to utilize credit property and and, 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 and that's how you gonna win that's how you yeah. gonna win because now you know my son my son teaches me about fear i never mm. had real real fear but my son is fearless my my oldest son you hear me he's fearless bro bro can go around can go s climb on top of something fall bump his head cry for a little second and then he's right back to climbing on the same thing over and over again he's resilient bro he's resilient so it's just like he gets yeah. it from his father. Look who his, yeah. look what his I, father's going to do right now. You know now. what I mean? But it, it's just like, <laughs> like he don't want to stop. And I get it now. It's like, and it makes me look at it like, damn, if this little fool can just go ahead and, you know what I'm I saying? Can't stop. I, I, can't, stop. I can't stop either, bro, because he's not going to stop. You know what I mean? So it's just like, mm, I, I can't stop now. I ain't stopped yet, but I can't stop now. You know what I mean? Right. Like even more now because he's watching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I stop, then he may stop and then he may not be live up to his full potential. So, you know, those things, those, those are key important. And that's the beauty of entrepreneurship, that it allows you to be able to do those things and create those opportunities for the next generation and for yeah. them to be able to, you know, you guys to learn from each other. Because at the end of the day, we have to get back to like we have to get back to family, man. I was teaching my children today, like, you know what makes up a family what i've learned is what makes up a nation is family what makes up a family husband wives and children and if one is weak the nation is weak so you know mm. if one of y'all is weak in the house and don't in and and not persp and not not have the ability to push forward and push through then it makes the whole family in danger because now this person could be you know saying the reason why nobody is getting anywhere because it's now you're dealing with a difficult time. And I don't want my children to grow up thinking that, you know, they're weak and they're, that we're weak. If we're not weak, you're not weak. So you can't be weak. You can't be this. You can't do that. You have to be able to do this. You see me doing it. You can do it, too. So, you know, and if I see you doing it, it pushes me even more to do more. You know what I mean? Because you're younger than me. You have you have more than what I'm able to I'm capable to doing at because of the stage that I'm at versus the stage you are. So, you know, and like I said, we you don't want to be weak. Everybody wants to be where they need to be at. Definitely, Aki. This was amazing, amazing episode. Um Man. entrepreneurship and AI season three, episode three. If there's one key point. If there's one key point before we head out, Aki, that you can take from this that you're gonna utilize when you're when you're when you're at your when you're at hundred percent and you're healed, 
what's what do you think you're going to utilize in terms of application that was provided today or any key thing that was provided today that you're going to utilize moving forward oh man uh it's a few key points that really stuck out to me more so um, that I'm going to utilize more when I get in 100 back to 100 percent. But it's 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 the the AI, uh, the, the, the different tools we have to help expand the business and create yeah. create different yeah. things. But uh, more so the ability to be diverse, to diversify and yeah. be resilient, man, is because those things are key. You know, what I mean, like. I, I can't I can't stress enough how important it is going to be. And, and and a lot of it comes from, you know, you motivate me because if you're able to do entrepreneurship for eight months without having, you know, I'm saying a, a nine to five, as they say. And right. that I look at is like, man, if you can do that shit, bro, I could do that shit. You know, what I mean, like I, I, I can I can I can go I can figure out something. I can create something. I can create something that's going to be beneficial, not only for me, but for somebody else. And then it creates the wealth for my children and creates the wealth for my family. And so those things is what I'm looking at uh, different ways and trying to be just more creative, my ability yeah. to be more creative and, and then put my creativity into play into into action. Yeah. That's that's pretty much what it is. Appreciate you, Aki, man. A lot of love, a lot of life, abundance, prosperity, and good health to you and the family. Thank you, brother. um, I look forward to next week Sunday. Um, you know, if you if based on that list that I send you, if anything speaks to your spirit, or even something new that speaks to your spirit that you want to talk about, just just shoot me a text and we'll lock it in. Oh yeah, you you. already know, man. Don't worry. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody that tapped in 65 Rose Athletics, Riri, Snoopy, and everybody who came through the stream. A lot of gems today, Aki. A lot of Man. You know, tremendous wisdom, tremendous spirit. And Man. um, I appreciate, you know, just being able to just work with you at the level that we work at. God bless you, brother. Talk uh, to you thank soon. You. Yes, sir.